It was a quiet and clear night in the countryside as a lady slept peacefully with her dog calmly at the end of her bed, when suddenly a loud crash woke her. Something fell through the ceiling. The dog began barking at the sudden loud noise of the unknown intruder. As the lady gathered her senses and wiped her face, she turned on the light. She looked around her room, trying to find the cause of the noise. She was shocked and confused to see a great hole in the ceiling. And directly below, right next to where her head was just lying, she saw a rock the size of her fist. Shaken, she immediately called the responsible person as she thought, but he advised that the rock was likely from a nearby construction site. This added further confusion as she was in the middle of nowhere. Nothing could have caused this to her knowledge. The next day, the responsible people visited to investigate. Further, the more detailed analysis showed that it wasn't just any rock, but a meteorite. Did you know that the chances of getting under a meteorite are about 1 in 250,000? It seems like relatively good odds. However, just for comparison, the odds of meeting a shark is 1 in 3.5 million. Do you often fly by plane? Perhaps you fancy your chances with the weather. Being caught in a tornado is a possibility of 1 in 13 million. And if you are a bit of a risk taker, the chances of you winning the big lottery is 1 in 292 million. So, given the odds, it would appear that a meteor fall would be a pretty common occurrence. Yet there are very few known instances of anyone getting by one. The Canadian woman who received the unexpected guest was lucky that it was a small stone. In 2013, an asteroid entered the Earth's atmosphere to the territory of the city of Russia with a population of 1 million people. Little did a cab driver realize, as he drove his cab, that an asteroid entering Earth's atmosphere was the most prominent object from space to enter Earth's atmosphere in over 100 years, measuring 66 feet wide. Everybody knows asteroids are gigantic objects revolving around our sun that aren't planets or moons. They're made from rocks and dust and come in all kinds of weird shapes. The largest is at about 329 miles in diameter. Asteroids mostly live within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. You can imagine what a journey it made to the Earth on that day. Given that the asteroid belt is so extensive and populated with all sorts of debris, collisions between objects are very likely. As the objects collide with one another, their trajectory changes, leading them outside of the asteroid belt. And on that day, it launched them in the direction of our planet. The city taxi driver dropped off his fare as the asteroid entered the atmosphere. The man saw many people on the street pointing to the sky. He got out of his cab and looked in the same direction. He saw a long tail of smoke across the sky with a bright object at the head of it, hurtling towards Earth at an unimaginable speed. As the atmospheric pressure slowed and heated the asteroid, causing it to glow brighter, it sped towards Earth. The man, unable to turn away, stood mesmerized. He watched on as the asteroid became brighter and brighter until it became brighter than the sun for a moment. The man turned his head away and covered with his arms to block the flash, as it was too blinding to look directly towards it. But as the asteroid reached its peak luminosity, it broke apart into several pieces that then continued falling towards the ground. Startled, the man looked around. The people on the street were also standing silent and unsure of what had just transpired. Suddenly, they heard multiple loud bangs in the near distance. The Earth shook as the falling pieces of the asteroid hit the Earth. Windows within buildings surrounding the street shattered. Cars parked had their alarms activated by the vibrations. Some people ran, but others in the street stood frozen, looking around at one another, still trying to make sense of what had just happened. The ground affected was extensive, covering up to 60 miles wide. Windows were shattered throughout the town. As the dust settled and repairs were made, scientists analyzed the pieces of the asteroid to identify where it had come from. They found that a collision within the asteroid belt had indeed caused it, and this 66-foot intruder was only a tiny piece of an even more giant asteroid. Given the crowded location when the asteroid fell, it was a miracle that no one was physically hit. There has only been one case where a meteorite had made physical contact with a person. 
It happened in 1954 in the USA. A lady was relaxing on her sofa, enjoying a short nap, when suddenly she was woken by a jolt in the side of her belly. The asteroid had been noticed by many in the same area. Reports were recorded that it had been the size of a basketball as it fell towards Earth. But after it burned up in the atmosphere and crashed through the woman's house, it had shrunk significantly by the time it made contact with her. After it was confirmed it was an intruder from space, the American lady then became the first and only recorded person on Earth hit by a meteorite. Within the asteroid belt, the asteroids also share their home with comets. Comets share the same ranges in size as the asteroids, but they're mainly made of ice. They can also have bits of rock and dust within their body. Comets have a long tail following behind them, which is made from their interaction with the sun. Comets aren't only located within the asteroid belt. They're well known to have all kinds of paths, not only restricted to just within our solar system. Some sightings of these periodic comets are documented in human history, appearing on infrequent occasions as they make their long journey throughout the solar system. Most notably is Halley's Comet, which can be visible on Earth on average once every 76 years. The last one was about 36 years ago. The first known record by humans of Halley's Comet was as far as 240 BCE. Halley's Comet is next expected to say hello in about 40 years from now. So make sure you get your telescopes ready. Asteroids and comets are big and scary for sure. And we all know that the dinosaurs were not able to detect the asteroid that impacted the Earth, which ended their reign on this planet. But luckily for us humans, we have scientists carefully observing our solar system. Asteroids and comets are so large that they can be easily detected, so there's nothing to be concerned about soon. Now that we have the concerning space rocks out of the way, Let's move on to their smaller relatives, the smallest being meteors, made from rock and dust that are so small that they burn up within our atmosphere, having no impact other than a light show. Meteor showers provide the most exciting display for all your novice astronomers out there. Meteor showers are very common, occurring around 30 times per year. They're easily predicted when to occur. You'll just need to ensure you're outside of the city on a clear night and be sure to bring a blanket along with you. But why do we get meteor showers, and why are they so easily predicted? Well, it all relates to how the comet gets its tail. When the heat from the sun interacts with the comet and separates gases and pieces of the comet, the Earth then orbits into the path of that same debris, which creates the magnificent display of the meteor shower. Being that meteors are too small to reach the ground of the Earth and burn up in our atmosphere, what if they could reach Earth? Well, they would then be called meteorites, made up of the same ingredients as meteors, but ultimately, we would only find solid rock if we happened to come across them. What's interesting about meteorites is that they are pieces of an ancient puzzle that have been flying around space for millions to billions of years. They could even been flying aimlessly in space longer than our sun has been burning brightly in our sky. Our solar system will continue to provide more surprises for us to learn from just like the asteroid that arrived in Russia in 2013, which scientists only overlooked due to another asteroid that was being monitored closely on the very same day. But as we continue to have these experiences, we will continue to learn from them. And hopefully, when the next big one flies by, we'll be ready.